everyone. Welcome everyone. If you are watching this video, this is the introductory video for my class on microeconomics. Now, microeconomics is obviously a branch of economics. So before we can study it, it's worth understanding a bit of about the field and where microeconomic fits in. So the question then, before we can ask or answer what is microeconomics, we have to ask what is economics? Now, different disciplines do different things, right? Psychologists study human relations, emotions, the brain. Political scientists study the government. Biologists study uh, nature. So different fields do different things. What we do as economists is that economics for us is every element of this is important the study of. So it's not economics is markets or economics is capitalism. Economics is an actual social science, which means that we have to engage in investigations, look at data, come up with theories, test them. So it's the study of how a society and we'll talk about this word later, society, because you can make the scale of the society very large or very small. A society can be a family group. A society can be an entire nation state. A society can be a particular sub-region in a country. It can be a group of ethnic minorities. It can be a group of corporations. So we, we have to think about who is and is not in this society. But essentially, every society does this. How a society makes decisions. So we are really looking at the decision-making process about using its resources. So we're going to learn a lot about resources because your resources can be land, it can be labor, it can be natural minerals, it can be technology, it can be the skill level of the people who work with you, it can be high tech, it, right? So you have resources and technology. Technology for us is just the given your knowledge base. How do you combine your resources to get your end result? So it could be ecologically sustainable technology, it could be high growth technology, it could be capital intensive technology, labor intensive technology, it could be AI, you know. What are you doing using your resources and your knowledge base to make, make the decisions about what how and for whom to produce. So what you're doing in a society is that you're taking your resources, you're making some decisions, you got some decision-making process, whether it's a peasant society, whether it's an advanced capitalist society, you got some decision-making process. And you're making decisions about, okay, here's what I've got available, here are my resources. How am I going to use them? How am I going to decide what to produce? Should I produce guns or, produ uh, or butter? How to produce? Should I produce it ecologically sustainably or to promote highest growth and uh, extraction? For whom to produce? Who is going to get the output? You know, who am I producing for? Who is going to buy it? How are they going to buy it? Uh, what happens if incomes are not aligned with 
being able to afford things, then for whom I'm, am I producing, right? So just keep in mind that economics is the study of what, how, and for whom to produce. As a result, while it's very easy to go rapidly to something like markets or businesses, that's actually not what economics is. Markets and businesses are one way, but not the only way to make these decisions. Plus, even in daily life, most of us, we make decisions in different ways. I mean, think about it. When you go to work, or if you're trying to open a business, you make decisions one way. Keep the costs low. Make sure that people work hard. You know, don't uh, 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 indulge. But then supposing you're at home and you are making similar decisions about your resources, your time, your income, whatever, and you're thinking about how do I uh, support my family? I might use a different mindset for that. I might use a mindset that prioritizes nurturing care, experience, like I really, you know, I really think my kid needs to be able to go to the museum. So I'm going to spend that and I'm not going to view that as a waste because it will help them in the future, right? So there's very different ways we make these decisions. So in order to understand the whole field and then place micro in it, we're going to have to understand different perspectives in economics. And we're going to start with the normative and positive distinction.